What is going on guys? Welcome back to another player review. We have finally reviewed Informata and I'm going to be telling you my opinion in a bit. But before I begin, let me know in the comment section below how many of you are purchasing the new World Cup game that is coming out this week or in America it's already out. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code DTON to get 5% off. And here we go. So to begin with, this guy is a center attack midfielder. Now, if you're expecting anywhere near as good as third inform Rodriguez forgets about it but then again this guy is only an inform not anywhere near a third inform so to begin with this guy's got a decent pace 79 pace and you want over uh, 70 pace for a center attack and midfielder like I always say it is a bonus so this guy is fast enough for me and also if you look at his stats he has really high acceleration but really low sprint speed so it is quite unbalanced but this guy as soon as he gets the ball he runs pretty fast well he gets to his sprint speed uh, his full fr uh, sprint speed very fast but he has decent shooting 80 shooting uh, Sometimes it is quite hard to, to score outside the penalty area with his shot because his shot power is quite low in my opinion when I'm shooting with him and you will see that in the clips. Now some of them I I came very unlucky because uh, it didn't go in. Some of them hit the post and some of them the goalkeeper just saved them because the shot power is quite low. Now Mata, I just didn't like him as a attacking, you know, center attacking midfielder but he felt more of a guy that, you know, just assists your strikers rather than the goal scorer and that is something I really really enjoyed now you'll see a couple of times where I assist my strikers or just do a nice little through ball or a nice pass and basically what happens is they just fail to finish and it's obviously my fault but with Matt's passing he just created so many chances and that's something I really loved about him now with info Mata he's definitely capable of scoring from finesse shots from like 30 yards or anywhere from long distance even though short power doesn't really come into to play when it comes down to finesse shots in my opinion but now his negatives he is quite weak so if you're expecting a strong set attack and midfielder like uh third from rodriguez for instance this guy is complete opposite he is pretty damn weak as soon as someone touches him he is on the ground even though his balance helps him out a bit uh he's just not strong enough to be honest uh three star weak foot but four star skill so it really depends on what you're looking for for a center attack and midfielder and also this guy is quite short i think he's like five foot seven so you it really depends on what sort of center attack and midfielder you're looking for at the end of the day info matter has decent pace very good dribbler decent finisher four star scores really good finesse shots decent shooting and very good passing if that sounds just about right what you're looking for for a center attack and midfielder then make sure you purchase him because he fills in all those spots now negatives weak three star weak foot and the heading so if that is something you look into when you're purchasing a center attack and midfielder you might want to look also because matter does not fit into those categories so i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did i'd really appreciate a like i'm not sure if there's anyone left for this team of the week let me know if you want me to check them out in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day